Valley. Welcome back to my channel. I hope that you're all having a beautiful start to your day. I'm here today with a tutorial on how to do this summer beachy wave heatless overnight curl look. It's actually less of a curl and more of a wave. It kind of reminds me if you went to the beach for the day and then drove home with the windows down, that awesome way your hair looks when you get home. That's how to acquire this look, but it is with no beach at all. It is extremely effortless. It is just an overnight curl. I have been doing this so much lately. It's getting very hot in New England and it's just too much time and too much effort and just just too hot to do anything that requires heat to my hair. So I've been loving this look lately. I've been wearing it in a lot of my videos and a lot of you have been asking me how I acquired this look. So today I'm going to show you how I get it. If you have any other questions or concerns, just ask them in the comments below. And without further ado, we're going to get right into this video. So for this look, you're going to want to start off with air dried hair. You do not want to use any heat in your hair, so just wash your hair and let it air dry. Next you want to split your hair into two separate sections. It does not matter where you put your part. I personally like my part right in the middle or slightly over to my right side. But just place your part wherever you usually have it and then split it into two sections. Take one of your sections, roll it up and just clip it up or use a hair elastic and just tie it up just to keep it out of your way. And then you're going to start on the other section. Now we're going to start the twisties. You're basically going to take a section of your hair. I usually take a section that's about an inch thick and then you're going to take that section and cut it into two additional sections. Now once you have those two additional sections, you're going to start off with a plain twisty, which means you're not going to be grabbing any additional hair. You're just going to take those two sections of hair and twist them back away from your face. I personally like the curl away from your face. If you like it towards your face, then twist it towards your face. So I'm gonna take that, twist it twice without grabbing any hair at all. Once you do that, you're going to start taking your finger and grabbing a section of hair, again, about an inch thick, then grabbing it with your other finger and twisting it over. So now the back section becomes the front section. Again, you're going to take that front section, use your finger, cut off about an inch thick of a section, push it into your other hand, and then twist it around. So that back section is now becoming the front section. Complete this process until you reach the bottom of your hair. If you're looking for a tighter curl, you're going to take smaller sections of hair. If you're looking for a looser curl, then you're going to take larger sections of your hair. I was looking for a tighter curl, so again, my sections are about an inch thick. But if you're looking for a looser curl, maybe make them about two inches to three inches thick. Once I start to twist the bottom section of my hair, I'm taking a little bit of water and I'm just dampening the ends of my hair. It seems to get really dry. That's the section of my hair that dries the fastest and first. So I'm just taking some water, dampening it, and now I'm just going to continue twisting it until I reach the bottom. The final step is to take your twisty braids, wrap them away from your face, and place them into these tiny little Princess Leia buns, then take an elastic and secure it into place.
Repeat the same process to the other section of your hair. I'm going to speed this clip up, but just remember take small sections of your hair, wrap them away from your face. The bottom section or the back section, excuse me, becomes the front section and you're just going to continue to take that section in the front, twist it around the back, take that back section, bring it to the front, so on and so forth. When you're done at the bottom, you're going to wrap it tight with an elastic and then wrap it into a little Princess Leia bun and secure it again with another elastic. When you're ready to sleep, you're going to untangle your buns. If you can sleep in these buns, that's great for you. I can't, it is just very uncomfortable. So I just unwrap mine or I untangle the bun. And then I take the elastic, just tie it tight. I twist it a little bit more just to keep it secure. Tie it tight in place and I just let it go. If you've had these in your hair for at least an hour, they should not unravel. They should pretty much be stuck in place as you can tell here. And I just take my fingers and I kind of wrap it around a little bit more. And then do the same to the other section of hair. And good morning. This is what the twisty braids look like in the morning and next you're just going to unravel them and break them apart. I think one of the most important parts of unraveling your braids is to start at the bottom. Do not try to unravel them from the top because it will mess up your curl. So just start at the bottom and very gently, do not rip at these, but just very gently use your fingers to kind of break apart your twisty braids and kind of fluff them up using your fingers and your hands. final step is to style your hair. If you like that fluffier, more volumized look, you can absolutely keep it just the way that it is, but my hair tends to expand throughout the day, so I like to just tame it a little bit by adding a little bit of mousse, a little bit of gel, and just a little bit of hairspray. And there you have it, effortless, overnight, heatless, beachy wave curls. That is a mouthful to say, but I'm just obsessed with the way that this looks. I've been wearing my hair like this pretty much for a year now, but seriously wearing it almost every single day for about a month now. I have a lot of you asking me how I grow my hair out so fast, and this is one of the main reasons, because there's zero heat in your hair at all, which means it's much much less damaging than doing a curl look in your hair that revolves around a straightening iron or a curling iron, etc. I'm just really obsessed with the way that this looks and I hope that you guys enjoy it as well. Please let me know what you think in the comments below. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you for all your support on my channel. I love you guys to the moon and back and I will talk to you soon. Bye guys!